kind of something borrowed <coughs> from the marching band time of the year with band camp. This is kind of a, a winter camp idea that we did, started many, many years ago. And what we do is when we get back from the, the um, Christmas vacation, we start working on this music. So all of the kids, none of the kids have seen this music before we got back, which is two weeks ago. So that they did, what, what they're able to do with the short amount of time that they can do it in is really a remarkable job. So a round of applause for the first two bands again. We've brought in many, many conductors, many composers through the years, and at the very top of the, the people that we bring in is the person that you're going to see next. He is one of the most prolific composers and conductors around today. He's literally conducted in every country. He, there, there is no band program that has not played his music. You will rarely ever go to a concert and not hear music of Frank to Kelly. So that we are able to have him here and work with our students is phenomenal. The kids really had a good time with him. A lot of times um, students don't know what to expect when they get a composure. They think that it's someone that's gray-haired and very old and fixing the on the verge of dying or having to die. <laughs> but um, I was talking to some of the students backstage and they were saying, I said you guys have a good, had a good time. And they were saying uh, we had a great time. It was much more than we ever thought it was going to be. And, and I said, well, what made it so great? He said, oh, he's just awesome. And his music is like he is. He's full of energy and he's so exciting to, 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 to play under and he can just such a good time. So you're going to see that when he conducts the students. In 1986, he started writing Cajun folk songs. So that's what you heard first was the first Cajun folk song. And then a few years later, he did the second. And now you're going to hear the, the third installment of the Cajun folk songs. Um, so, without any further ado, everyone, I'll introduce Mr. or rather Dr. Frank T. Kelly and the Lafayette High School Wind Ensemble. Thank you all very much, and good evening to all of you. Thank you for coming to this. It's it's a great pleasure to be back here. This is not my first time here uh, at Lafayette High School. I was here about 11 years ago, and I just remember so fondly this wonderful music program that you have here. So my hat's off to Mr. Walker. Just give this man a big hand. So again, it's a great pleasure to be back here, and I've enjoyed working with all of these wonderful young musicians and their conductors. Uh, it's been a great time here. Um, as he mentioned, this is a trilogy of, of Cajun-inspired works. The first one was in the 80s, the second one in the 90s, and this is the third one. And they get more difficult. The first one's for young musicians, the second one that you heard is for intermediate level musicians, this is for more advanced mu musicians. And this is also the longest of the three. We're going to do all three movements, and uh, it is, it's three movements. The outer movements are sort of Cajun dance, just like Cajun dance hall music, just fun music. Um, the first one is based on an old fiddle tune by a Cajun named Wayne Perry. Nobody knows much about that gentleman, but, the, but fortunately that his uh, fiddle playing has survived in archival recordings that have been handed down. Um, so we have that, and, and that was an inspiration for that movement. The, and then the last movement is called Allons à Lafayette, originally. Let's go to Lafayette in French. And I shortened it to just to Lafayette, so it's a tribute to this city right here. And again, nobody knows where this folk song comes from, but it just is just an incredible celebration of life itself. You'll hear that. Uh, I added the washboards in, the you know, the Cajun washboard kind of thing, and uh, so I added a lot of my own stuff as well. But the original spirit is still there that, of the original folk song. In the middle, the middle movement is uh, based on an old Cajun ballad. <laughs> And that one's uh, the most personal for me. It's the slow movement, it's the more intense movement. It builds and builds to a huge climax. It's, that particular movement is dedicated to the victims of Hurricane Katrina, so it's also very personal in that way for me, uh, for all of us. Um, it is uh, based on a series of variations on this Cajun melody that just build and build and build in intensity, from starting out just almost dreamlike and very distant, and then gradually building in intensity. So that middle movement is sort of the, the spiritual heart of this, uh, this Cajun set, with the outer movements just being good, fun, good time, Cajun dance, all kind of music. So this is Acadiana. Thank you, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, all of you drive home, going home in this cold weather here, and uh, thank you again for coming out tonight. Thank you.